hey guys welcome back this is castle bat and today we bring in yet another video from the test server now as this is test server so the contents of this video is for reference only the actual data may vary based on situations all right so well uh, today's video uh, you guys have been asking me uh, about one more topic in general which is the hero guide right to talk about heroes what kind of diff uh, heroes we have uh, which hero to use in what uh, situations and all so let's see so if i go to my castle uh, here is a hero palace let's draw this out so so this hero option is where you see all the heroes this will be recruited heroes or you have not yet recruited them all those heroes will appear here they'll be categorized based on combat development and support apart from that now how to uh, basically recruit these heroes so that's where this hero recruitment is there we'll go there to see how we can recruit uh, some uh, certain heroes and all and then of course there are hero trials we can we can train heroes you'll get these uh, recruitment cards also you can of course buy these cards but that's where uh, you have the three options apart from that you also have let me read this out so here the last option which is your god of recruitment now this is a monthly event that keeps happening now based on how many uh, advanced recruitment card and the common recruitment card uh, you have used uh, based on that you will be ranked in the server and uh, depending on your rank you will basically get some items and uh, rewards and also depending on your month over month uh, the number of points that you accumulate you will get these uh, awards here uh, or rewards here right and these rewards basically are uh, very good they gives you experience of course they also give you the, the the recruitment card for various heroes out there all right anyhow so let's go first to the heroes right now as i was saying earlier uh, this will show you various categories it shows all combat development and support so combat will give you only those heroes which you will use when you're doing battles right now there are two sections one is your recruited heroes which are on top and then there are many heroes in this castle which i have not recruited this is a test castle so they're still pending right now well i can recruit it uh, likewise for development uh, i think a uh, few heroes have been recruited uh, but you can recruit a lot and then you have support right okay so uh, now every hero uh, i mean of course these heroes are, are categorized in various categories combat so if i had to name some so the wasteland warrior here is an infantry kind of hero i would love to use it if i am doing an infantry base attack now again there is there are other infantry base heroes also which will give you crit and damage extra so uh, there are different types of heroes this one gives you infantry benefits in terms of higher hp as you can see here the skill points uh, if you use them they will go majorly on your infantry stuff so your infantry attack defense hp all will be higher and damage right likewise you have archer base heroes which is wind ranger now this hero if recruited and used in the marches will give you benefits when you're using archer base attacks right now all of these heroes have as you can see they have talents let me draw this out yeah they have talents so you can you can set the skill points there now apart from that you can also have skills we'll see that and the attributes and you also can have uh, equipment being poor or you can wear different kinds of equipment uh, like archangel uh, set and all and then you can advance the stars on the video on, on the hero so let's see what it will do so if i go back here talents we just saw that okay the skill points as you uh, keep having higher level of your hero like my wind ranger is level 48 so i have 240 points to put on the skill tree right likewise there's skill section now this skill section will give you basic uh, skills low like active skills right now these active skills like the first one is activated which says increase archer attack by 30 percent this is uh, this lasts for one hour and the cooldown time is eight hours right so now this skill will be applicable for any march that goes out irrespective of whether your archer hero was in the march or not 
right but these are skills that you gain by recruitment by recruiting these heroes and also advancing the stars if i make it uh, star 2 i get archer hp 20 percent if i go it further and do uh, uh, star 3 i get archer damage by 10 percentage so that's why people or players you'll see they have a lot of heroes and they have uh, stars max out for those the reason is by by maxing out those stars you're getting all these buff which you can use when you're fighting very uh, critical or crucial battles right so that's one uh, so different types of heroes like this is siege hero you can use it with siege attacks it again gives you some active skills it also has purification section like all other heroes where you can purify and get more and more skills right okay so that's one thing about heroes we talked about combat heroes let's go back and quickly check some of the other heroes this one is good we'll go to development now there are heroes which will uh, help you uh, in developing building faster like this is the uh, this has skills around building and all if i can that's quick yeah so it increases your building speed up it also reduces uh, materials needed for uh, for building and all right and the speed of course so this hero you will use for building purposes and you can recruit and as you again keep on advancing the stars of this hero you will gain more and more buffs and more or, uh, more and more privileges for building uh, specific uh, needs right okay likewise you have other stuff around uh, so like building is one hospital capacity uh, you will also have some for your saga science so do the science better and faster right so all those heroes will be there like i think this is uh, if i see this is for saga right gives you uh, reduces the time needed for upgrading or killed the resources and again it has stars uh, which will give you boost or which take which will take you less and less materials when you're doing your saga sciences so in general what we are seeing here is there are different kind of heroes all right and uh, we have categories for heroes now each of these heroes have skills we saw and that makes it uh, makes them good for a specific uh, purpose like uh, some of the heroes will uh, you will see like uh, we just saw uh, Whistle Warrior is infantry base. You have Wind Ranger for archer base. You also have heroes which are offensive damage base, like the Warhammer. Or you can uh, also see heroes like uh, the Holy Shield, which is defensive damage. So experts for defense, right? Some people use that in their wall. Some people also use uh, Selma because it gives you crit, right? So it depends on your playing style and your stats. But uh, the categorization of heroes have been done based on what they give overall as stats and boost. Now, all right, we have these heroes. How do we recruit them, right? Now, I have so many heroes not recruited. Now, the way to do it is you got to go to the hero recruitment section. So if you go here, there are two sections. One is your common recruitment, and then you have advanced recruitment. All right. Now, uh, if I go to, uh, let me draw this out quickly. So here is a uh, pool preview. It basically tells you, okay, if you uh, use the recruitment cards, what kind of heroes can you gain, right? Or what kind of hero shards will you gain? So if I go back and see the first one, the common will give you all the, the heroes here. These are, uh, of course, their experience and speed ups and all, but the heroes mainly will be for uh, purpose of development, support, uh, and all the stuff, right? And the advanced recruitment, mostly I've seen is for combat. Uh, most of the heroes are for combat. Some of them are for hospital. Some of them are for uh, this my, this you can use. You'll basically this, use this uh, hero for governor to increase your rally marches size, increase your march size and all, right? So combat, okay. Okay, uh, fair deal. So now as I, uh, I now as I see this uh, screen gives me two options I can use I can of course uh, use uh, one free chances or the required number of free chances to gain these uh, cards recruitment cards for heroes or I can also uh, use my advanced recruitment cards to get these heroes one by one or in the bulk of them as you can see here right I can do that now but then uh, where do I get these recruitment cards? So 
there are two options you can either get them from your uh, hero trials you can do that daily and you keep getting on the uh, recruitment cards and that you can go back to your recruitment center and and get some heroes from there or you can buy them right and there are uh, certain events also that come in the event center where if you are spending out of or within a duration let's say in, in a day if you have spent x number of uh, recruitment cards so it gives you a lot of specific hero recruitment uh, cards like recently there was a thing about this hero shield uh, holy shield where if you spend uh, daily like 300 cards you're getting uh, a thousand hero shield uh, holy shields uh, recruitment card or something like that right that was very uh, very very useful all right so we talked about hero we talked about hero trials hero trials uh, good to do on daily basis again one of the daily activities that you will do uh, to gain on uh, experience gain on these cards and gain on items for free right okay uh, let's go back here to the hero section all right so we saw we have uh, different categories of heroes how we can uh, basically recruit them you got to get the cards from the either you got to buy the cards you can buy the cards there are events which come in like uh, the packages uh, which come in for hero recruitment cards uh, i don't know if there is here right now or not but i can always go in here and i can go to hero growth i believe and that will give me some there are some cards here also by the way which you can directly buy instead of opening it via the recruitment cards you can directly buy these uh, uh, these these cards from here right and here we just saw common experience common recruitment card we also will have advanced recruitment card as you can see here right so you can get from packages yes you can also get from the hero trial and using that you actually can go to the, uh, the recruitment uh, daily you also get uh, free recruitment chances for both common and advanced you should utilize that and get as many uh, hero cards as possible so that you can uh, basically gain all these heroes recruit all these heroes add more stars to the heroes and make them fight better and fight better or maybe do the buildings uh, do the support stuff uh, much better okay now one more thing uh, in general what i do is i only recruit these uh, heroes when there are events happening like if they if there's an event center in, in the event center if it's showing up that okay if you recruit 100 if you spend 100 recruitment cards then we'll give you uh, certain uh, recruitment cards for specific heroes of my choice then i will go for it definitely i will definitely do the hero trials daily right uh, not missing on that chance to get free recruitment cards i got to do that right now uh, that is there i will also like to as i mean uh, for uh, crucial battles is important that my heroes have all the stars unlocked right so it's important that you keep on getting these recruitment cards and enabling these uh, these stars to gain on these skills uh, these basic skills infantry skills so think about it if i have unlocked all of this thing for my infantry for my archers for my cavalries like there's a cavalry hero also uh, let me quickly find out go to combat again it's easy so this one right death knight now this gives you uh, cavalry basic skills yes but it has skills again which is thrust charge and iron cavalry and as you keep on adding stars to it you will gain all these three skills basic skills which you can activate when you're fighting uh, crucial battles as i do right so well uh, this is uh, stuff around uh, hero guide uh, you can also go to the building and support uh, for uh, stuff like uh, hospital capacity and all uh, for development i just talked about uh, what can be the uh, the guy who can give uh, give you benefits when you are doing development of buildings and all uh, there's some uh, there's a governor here which you can uh, basically put it in the position or position it in the as a governor assign him as a governor and hen hence he will give you better rally size better uh, mass size and all and there are uh, cases where where these heroes have specific uh, equipments like the governor set is there which you will like to have in the governor uh, hero likewise for hospital there is uh, 
a specific uh, equipment for hospital let me show you that real quick. so there's an equipment set if I go to reform so the rebirth set I use it in my main castle this gives me benefit in my hospital uh, cap of course so this uh, set I will wear in my uh, my hospital heroes right now uh, we talked about hero stuff and how to hire them and recruit them now there is a placement thing now if you go to wall you can go to hero position and you can place your heroes at various uh, steps like guardian uh, let's open this now again it depends on what kind of stats you have in castle but in general I've seen people using Selma either here gives you better defense stats uh, infantry crit and all or people will use the holy shield right because it gives you defensive damage likewise you will see civilization and why there's a new hero that was released for that uh, this will reduce the number of items reduce the crystals needed to upgrade right and it has again active skills and all recruitment officer you have uh, officers to uh, heroes to recruit I usually uh, still use uh, one of the heroes which here which because it's expanded so well like I use still use Jared the reason is I have I have uh, expanded maximize all these three skills recruitment inspire and mobilization right so that's that's the reason I am using it and I have appointed that in my uh, as my recruitment officer right okay likewise you can place your doctor uh, research officer gathering resources construction and governor governor we just saw that what we can put in here right so and uh, these heroes you can find in out here like the hospital there are various heroes for so if I go to support and this hero is a hospital again uh, this again it depends on if you have maxed out the stars so it depends on at what stage state that your heroes are uh, I will not recommend you to go for a specific hero irrespective of whether that hero is will give you lesser hospital cap as as uh, compared to because your other hero the smaller hero a green hero has a better start so I'll go with that un until my my better uh, hospital hero is uh, fully maxed out right so well uh, in my case I have her ma uh, maxed out I have all the skills activated for her so the capacity the hospital cap is all activated in this entire section it's five percent here seven point five percent here and twelve point five percent here also the recovery speed is here so she's giving a lot and uh, it's easy to get this uh, the charge for this and that's the reason she sits as she's appointed as the hospital hero for my castle my main castle that's one you also have uh, the priest the priest hero also gives you uh, hero cap uh, hospital cap as I can see here right and also wounded recovery speed ups and it has special skills uh, I made a video earlier also but it really has cool skills to increase the hospital cap it also has skills around uh, to heal without using any of the resources no speed ups no resources if your hospital if your hospital is full you can heal for free it has a cooldown for seven days but think about you're fighting in in DC or in AB right uh, ancient battlefield and there all your tools troops are gone you use it and all your troops are back without using any speed ups without any materials right it's cool I use it all right so uh, well uh, there are various heroes uh, we will talk about the details of these heroes uh, with specific topics like hospitals and uh, for research purposes and all uh, we'll talk about we'll make uh, specific videos for that in the upcoming uh, uh, future uh, I hope this helps this tells you a brief uh, intro about heroes where to recruit them how to get it what to do what kind of uh, the, the trials uh, the daily trials the hero trials is must to do where to get these recruitment cards and all when to use it right so hope this helps uh, let us know if you have any comments on this video or 
you like us or you want us to make a video or any other topic on this test uh, in this test server also keep watching our channel uh, subscribe share and like our videos and have loads of fun bye bye